All right, Jess, I got hot. My tape measure and my notepad. <clears throat> For the sake of conversation, it will require some imagination. We're gonna pretend that this truck and this trailer are a standard mechanic side dump setup, okay? So there's two numbers that this can be based off of and you need to ask whoever your coordinator is what number you are following. So every truck and every trailer that's manufactured has your standard GVW. This truck is 10,000 pounds. This trailer is 14,000 pounds, meaning federally the manufacturer, yeah, basically federally, the truck and the trailer cannot exceed 10,000 pounds on the truck, 14,000 pounds on the trailer, total com combined, which is the GCW of 24,000 pounds. State of Alaska standards, and this comes into play mainly during weight restrictions, but the actual state, when you're on state jobs, may require this. State of Alaska standards follows pounds per square inch of tire on the road. So in this scenario, you would measure, you'd count how many tires you have of each size. Generally speaking, steer tires are different than drive tires, though on this pickup, they're all the same. Same with the trailer. Um, lift axles frequently are smaller than regular um, fixed axles on side dumps. But for the sake of this conversation, I'm just gonna base it all up this truck. To do that equation was similar to what I typed out for you earlier. We take the total number of tires, which is four of the same size tire. And you multiply that by the width of the tread, not the width of the outside width of the tire, but the width of the tread and that is nine inches. So for this, we have four tires at nine inches. That gives us a total of 36 inches width of tire space on the ground. 36 inches times 600. 600 is the number that they have you multiply by to get the total legal PSI of the truck, which means that this, for Alaska state road standards, means we're legal to 21,600, which is a dramatically higher number than the 10,000. But oftentimes these vary, particularly on semis, based on the width of your tire. The calculation is no different for the trailer. We have a trailer width, or trailer width, four identical tires. So we measure one of the tires. And... This is at six inches, though for some reason I wrote seven, so we're just gonna pretend that it's seven. Um, but when you're actually doing this math, it'd be whatever the actual width is. Yeah, four times seven equals 28. 28 times 600, which is the 600 again, is the number that they give you to multiply by, is 16,800. Gives you a total of 38,400. Now, generally speaking, you're gonna take whichever the lower of these numbers is, but you need to ask your coordinator to specify if you're running off GVW, or state of Alaska legal measure weight measurements because these numbers will always vary. Um, every truck and trailer has a GVW listed. They add those together to come up with the GCW. State of Alaska, you have to actually measure the tire PSI. I would recommend doing this because sometimes your tire PSI, state of Alaska tire PSI guidelines will have you at a lower weight than your truck GVW, though not always. It, it varies so much by what tires they put on the trucks. So ask your coordinator which measurement they want you to go off of, because obviously if you can haul substantially more weight, then by all means you would. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Hopefully this wasn't more confusing. If you have more questions, um, don't ask me because I don't know anything and I'm kind of stupid. So I'm just an office guy, but uh, yeah. Okay, bye.